In a world as uh, interconnected as ours, something must be amiss when it was reported in 2022 that 28.9 million Brits were tragically single. And naturally, to meet this wave of unluckiness in love came the online dating sphere. Oh yes, did they come. Tinder, Hinge, Bumble, rubbish, Grinder. All plastered over the home screens of 11.1 million Brits. God knows what the other 17 million are up to. Probably having a quiet night in looking after their cats. Despite all that, there seems to be this kind of stigma attached to online dating, with couples who meet that way having to create these false romantic fables to disguise the true nature of their first meeting somewhere in the depths of cyberspace. Anyway, sun's out, love is in the air. Why don't we ask the people of London what they think? My thoughts on online dating are that it's not very personal and it doesn't really work anymore in a modern world. It's easier for people to socialise and find people instead of having to go out and, you know, be awkward and stuff in public. I actually think it's really good. I met my husband on Tinder like seven and a half years ago, so it's pretty good. <laughs> for some people, online is a great way to meet people, especially if uh, they don't find it as comfortable just meeting people in real life or have exhausted all of the friends in, in their friendship group. I mean, I think it's a great thing, you know? It's, you know, we, we met online and, um, gives a different avenue for people to, to meet each other. The world's going more online, so I think, yeah, it's lovely. I think it's quite good, like, it's a good way of meeting people. However, um, it can get a bit tedious. Sometimes I just go on there, sounds bad, but sometimes I'm just a bit bored, to be honest. Oh, you can't be bothered sitting there, sliding from there. It's more hungover, hungover Sunday, but like, you know where. Someone really ought to make a report on how much these things cost. Oh, where was I? Oh yes, rising alongside uh, online dating as a new phenomenon. And it's certainly not helping Britain's singles problem. I am of course referring to the ick. It's a word that's just recently been added to the Cambridge Dictionary in fact. So um, there's a news line for you. Now, being that I've never conjured feelings of ick in any woman on the planet, and they don't make me feel too icky either, I'm going to hand you over now to a man who knows everything about the subject matter. Hi girls. The word ick was first used in a TV show in the late 1990s called Ali McBill. She um, used the term to describe going off men, but it made a resurgence in 2017 when Love Island contestant Olivia Atwood popularised the term to describe being put off potential lovers. But of course, it was in 2020, when the world of TikTok, when, when the ick became a TikTok trend. But of course, it was in 2020, when the ick became a TikTok trend. It was used, especially by female users, to describe things that were just putting them off. Being too short, or eating a chicken sandwich funny, or you know, enjoying a magic trick. I like magic tricks. Actually lovely. Sadly for those icky men, once you give someone the ick, it just can't be undone. Yes, so many icks, especially like on Tinder and Bumble. I used to have a Snapchat um, private story of all like the worst things people used to send to me. A lot of girls go like typical Sunday and then it's like hungover and a roast. I think that's quite a bit basic, so I'd say that's a bit of an ick, yeah. Little things that, oh, you know, he wears like red t-shirts, that's an ick. It, it makes sense. It's, if you're getting ick, it's kind of just childish at this point. Men on dating sites are really weird. <laughs> they will send unsolicited pictures, things like that. I hope I haven't given anyone the ick. Back to you, Joe. See? I told you I'd be back. 
Olivia O'Brien is a dating coach with Sister Siren Coaching, so if anyone knows about this subject matter, she should. Hello, Olivia, here you go. Oh, thank you. Welcome. Oh. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Yeah, so good to meet you as well. Here. So can you tell me, what is it you do in regards to dating and coaching? I coach people um, through the dating process, um, especially these days, there's a lot of different uh, things going on with online dating that are kind of changing the way we date, the way we do relationships in a lot of ways. So I am there to help people. I'm with the online dating sphere. How is it affecting modern relationships? Well, people are meeting more people than ever before. Um, in a lot of ways, that's really great uh, because people are getting more dating experience than ever before. You're getting more interracial relationships. Um, the majority of younger same-sex relationships are being made online, which is really cool. Um, and yeah, people are finding success in them. And contrary to popular belief, um, most of people that are on dating apps are looking for relationships. I know a lot of people think that like, there's a stereotype around uh, people just looking for sex, but it's not necessarily true. <laughs> but ultimately, we are seeing people gain relationships out of these apps. And what can you tell me about this thing called the ick? The ick, yeah. Well, okay, so as a dating coach, if I hear someone talking about the ick, I always think like, all right, is the ick something that's like, you know, related to your core values? Are you getting the ick because someone is like a terrible person? You know, those things are like, that's icky and that's like, worthwhile considering, you know, leaving a relationship for. <laughs> I saw this one couple, it was actually kind of cute. They like, um, the husband had these water shoes and the wife was telling the husband that she like got the ick from his water shoes. <laughs> you know, I work a lot with the attachment styles and there's things about attachment theory and people that have like avoidant attachment styles specifically who are like looking for reasons to leave and if you're like getting the ick over something silly like somebody's water shoes <laughs> and you're gonna break up with somebody that's kind of ridiculous especially if the relationship was going really well the person's really great you know so basically just check your ick you know check the level of your ick um is it related to your values is it related to your goals for life and and does this really cancel out this person? Going forward, what do you, what do you see as the future of relationships? Yeah, we're, we're gonna have to adapt as a society to uh, integrating technology and learn how to um, engage with it in a healthy way um, that can really lead us towards our goals uh, rather than you know get us frustrated, exhausted, and, uh, and you know, writing off our potential for a relationship just because technology seems to be ruining. <laughs> Our chances or something. So, yeah, I'm hopeful. I'm really hopeful. Let's end yeah. on a hopeful note. Yes. <laughs>